convert my son's closet into an office and desk workspace. When I first moved into the house a few years back, I put your typical melamine shelf in here just to give them some type of storage. But now with this damn virus, kids staying home, homeschooling, all that kind of stuff, he needs an actual workspace to do his work. Now his bedroom is pretty small. It's only about 10 foot by 10 foot with his bed, bureaus and whatnot. There's really no space for a desk and a nice workspace for him. So I figured I'd convert his closet here. I have a plan. I kind of have an idea what I want to do and we're going to go for it. So follow along and while you're at it, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So the first thing I did was use my rubber mallet to remove the melamine shelves that I first installed when I moved into the house. I'm going to save these and use them for a future project. Then I use my flat bar just to remove all the blocking that I had previously installed as well. Then with my putty knife, I got some spackle and spackled all the previous holes. And there are a ton of them. And then per Mr. Miyagi, I sand the floor, or in this case, the walls. Now I'm measuring up 30 inches to find the desk height because I'm going to pre-paint the walls, the top half gray and the bottom half white. And using my paint roller, I painted that wall gray. Right to about the top of the line where my desk will be. Look at me go. Doing it. So here I'm using my trusty stud finder to mark off the studs because when I put up my blocking here three quarters of an inch below the top of my desk I know exactly where the studs are to nail and it's imperative that your blocks are level so make sure you draw a level line all the way around your closet you don't want to work on a crooked desk So I picked up two full sheets of plywood with an oak finished veneer. I figured out my whole layout and my design. I cut everything with a table saw. And here I'm just painting everything. Uh, two coats, top and bottom. So it's a lot easier to paint it now while it's on a table than when it's in the closet itself. So set up a nice paint booth and get to work. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do was set my tabletop down on top of those cleats. Nice and tight with the butt of my hammer, just making sure it's taut. Now using my finished trim nailer, I got two and a half inch nails in that. And I'm trying to hit the studs and the cleat all in one shot. Okay, now I'm gonna build the shelving unit so I'm marking off about every one foot and then using my square, just drawing straight lines so I know where to pre-drill my holes. So I could have ran dados for my shelving, but it's just an office closet, so I didn't want to get too crazy with it. So I'm just going to pre-drill three holes in each line and I'll be able to screw my actual shelves into this box and make the whole shelving unit. So I'm just putting the screws in just a little bit at first. And now just assemble your boxes. Make sure your shelves are straight up and down. You can use a straight edge or a square. Make sure your spacing's perfect and screw everything in nicely. Okay, so I set the box that I built up into the corner. Use a couple of cleats for some bracing. I use my stud finder to find where the studs in the ceiling were, the joists is actually, and I have three and a half inch screws, and those are catching the ceiling joists. Using my impact gun, it's a nice tight fit. Then I also have studs on the side. I found those with the stud finder and screwing my three and a half inch screws into those as well. So 
So here I have one shelf going across from the box to the wall. So I'm just making a nice level line at the same exact height as one of the shelves. So it's a nice clean look. So again, use your stud finder to find your studs. Bam! Look like a comic book. And it was a cool effect I wanted to try. So anyways, you have another cleat. Nail that into the studs. And then you'll be able to hang your shelf on top. So now I gotta figure out the front panel. I had a pre cut piece of ply. I just used my pencil and marked it up along the inside of my tabletop. And here I'm measuring to the wall with a level to figure out how wide the panel is gonna be. It's cut, slides right in. All right, so now I'm cutting my baseboard. I took my measurements from inside the closet. Nice flush cut. The other side, I'm doing a 45 degree angle so I can cope it. And here's how you cope a piece of baseboard. You always want to cope. It's such a better and tight fit as opposed to just cutting two 45 degree miters. And once it's coped, I'll show you both pieces, make a nice tight fit. Clean and perfect. All right, then you just lay your baseboard where it needs to go. I already pre-marked the studs. I got two two and a half inch nails hitting every stud so it's nice and locked. And now to give it a nice clean look, I'm gonna put one and a half inch pine on the face of all the shelves. Shoot it in there and it's gonna look clean and neat. And continue on putting a nice lip on the end of the desk to cover up the end of the plywood grain. Shoot those in, make sure it's nice and level and tight. You don't want any lip because that's what you'll be working. And just run that all the way around. And now I'm just cutting four pieces of a trim detail for the face of the panel. And all you do here is just glue everything, use your trim gun, and nail it on. Did we just turn a closet into an office space? Hell yeah, we just did that. So we just kept it very simple. Um, we did, I got all my stuff from Target, Marshalls, and Lowe's. I got a cool bulletin board, um, a full, fun plant from Lowe's. Just kept it very simple with like, you know, I'm really bad at pointing, there we go. <laughs> at office stuff, um, staples, and a cool drawer to keep organized. We just kept it super simple so anybody that wanted to jump in the office and use it can. And he did shelving, and we did a little bit of cubbies all the way up on the top. And we just kept it fun and easy. I love it. And that was my beautiful lady going over how she decorated this closet office space. So just quickly, one more time, you want to keep the desk about 30 inches of height. We kept the shelving one foot off of the desk. Again, you don't want to keep this too cluttered, too much stuff going on, because when you're working here, you don't want your mind to be cluttered with all that stuff. You want to stay focused on what you do. 
Um, we have a pin board as well. You can put your dates, reminders, things of that nature. And then we also painted the room a blue. It was originally green, which was pretty ugly. So we have a nice blue. We got that in a satin finish. And there you have it. So closing it out, if you're into any construction, renovation, rehab, DIY, how-to projects such as this, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel.